Hello, in this video I'll be talking about annuities. So uh, as a quick review, uh, in a previous video I talked about compound interest. And the formula that we used for compound interest said you know, your future value, uh, which is A, the amount of money you would have after some time has passed, uh, can be found by taking your principal or present value, the amount of money you invest, and multiplying it by a factor uh, where we take 1 plus R over N, where R is an interest rate, N is the number of times a year that you're uh, compounding, and then T is the number of years uh, that you are able to leave your investment and let it grow. So this formula uh, kind of uh, hinges on the fact that you have a certain flat amount, uh, like a principal, that a lump sum that you can invest and then leave it alone for a certain amount of time. However, that's not the way uh, the, the, the majority of people, I would think, uh, accumulate wealth or, or save money. A lot of people uh, do this periodically. And so rather than starting with a lump sum, uh, we set aside a certain amount, maybe monthly or uh, you know at the end of every year. And uh, you know, so we're adding uh, to an account. So with an annuity, uh, we can uh, add periodically the same amount uh, in regular installments, and we'll look at how much we can earn uh, with that strategy. So in this case, uh, when we in the uh, in this video and in these formulas, when we see a P, it's not a lump sum principle. You can think of the P as being a periodic payment or the amount that you would set aside periodically uh, or you know add to your savings account the amount that you would you know have withheld from your paycheck or uh, automatically sent to a savings account uh, a is still going to be the amount uh, that you will have at the end of a certain amount of time but there are uh, the main formula that we're going to use here uh, for an annuity is a equals P times uh, 1 plus R over N to the NT. So this looks familiar. That's uh, the same fact that we saw in our compound interest formula. Uh, minus 1. So this is all over the fraction of R over N. So let's say that you are able to set aside uh, maybe $200 uh, each month and uh, you're going to add this to a savings account which compounds monthly and uh, you have an interest rate of let's say three percent uh, and let's see maybe you have 20 years uh, to uh, to follow this strategy so how much money will, do we expect to have after the 20 years so I'll take my contribution, my regular contribution of $200, uh, 1 plus R, the interest rate is 3%, so 0 0.03 over N. Uh, this is monthly, and so uh, this is over 12. That's how often I'm making my payments, and also how often this is compounding. This is 12 times T. I've got 20 years to do this. This is over 1, and that's all divided by R over N, which is by 0.03 over 12. 0.03 over 12. So how am I going to do this? Uh, I'm going to work from the inside out in my calculator uh, by taking 0.03 and dividing that by 12, adding 1, and then raising that to the power of 12 times 20. So uh, then I need to subtract 1. So this piece is 0 0.82075 and some change. Uh, I'm just going to multiply that by 200 and then divide by 0 0.03 divided by 12. I'm using parentheses uh, to make sure that that division of 0 0.03 by 12 happens before I take uh, the previous result and divide it. Um, so hit enter, and this gives me 
$65,660.40. So if I'm able to set aside $200 a month for 20 years, uh, at the end of that period, I can have almost $66,000. Okay, so let's look at uh, another scenario here. Uh, maybe uh, you don't set aside money monthly, maybe you do it annually. And so for this example, let's say you can make a, a larger contribution of maybe $4,000 uh, at the end of each year. So that's going to be yearly. And you can earn 7%. And let's say that you've got 15 years to do this. So the amount of money that you will have after 15 years, uh, your periodic contribution is $4,000. And... We'll take 1 plus R, which is 0.07. Now, since this is yearly, the amount I'm, the value I'm using for N is 1. So, uh, this is going to be and 1 times 15, and then I'll subtract 1. And this is going to be all over R over N, so this will just be over 0.07, since my N is 1. Right, yeah, right there, don't. So, let's see what that works out to be. Uh, 1... 0.07, that's 1 plus 0.07, raised to the power of 15, minus 1, times 4,000, and then divided by 0.07. So this is 100,516 dollars and 9 cents, if I do some rounding there. So if you uh, are able to set aside $4,000 a year for 15 years, you can end up with over $100,000. But now, keep in mind, some of that was money that you contributed and some of it was interest. So let's break it down. Uh, 15 years times $4,000, you were contributing $60,000. So if you didn't earn any interest and just put your uh, bury your $4,000 in the backyard, uh, and then added $4,000 a year, you'd have $60,000. The interest is the difference. So the interest is the $40,516. The $60,000, those were your contributions. So the total that you'll have is over $100,000. Uh, about yeah, uh, The biggest part of that, or the... Uh, $60,000 of it was your own contributions, and then $40,000 you earned uh, in interest. Now let's look at this another way. And let's say that you have a goal that you want to be a millionaire uh, when you retire. And maybe you are 25 now, and you're going to work until you're uh, 65. So you've got 40 years uh, to accumulate a million dollars. And uh, let's say you're a fairly conservative person. Let's say that you are going to just count on earning an interest rate of 6%. So how much are you going to need to set aside? And let's say you, you get paid um, uh, monthly. So we're going to make contributions 12 times a year. So in this case, I'm going to take my formula uh, and rearrange so that it's solved for the periodic contributions, the, the P. So that looks like this. A times R over N. And then in the denominator, I have 1 plus R over N to the NT minus 1. And so let's figure out in this scenario what we should set aside each month. So I know I want to end up with a million dollars. So that's the future value. And my interest rate is 6%, so 0 0.06. The N is 12. And here I have 1 plus R over N, 0 0.06 over 12. That's raised to a power of N times T. So 12 times, and I've got 40 years to do this. Uh, minus 1. So let's simplify this. Uh, 
factor this out. 0 0.06 divided by 12 times my million. So this is 5,000. And then uh, in the denominator, I have 0 0.06 divided by 12 plus 1 raised to the power of 12 times 40. And then subtract 1. And so this is 9.95745 blah 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 blah. So I need to take 5,000 and divide it by that answer. And I find that I need to set aside $502.14 a month. And if I do that for 40 years, uh, when I'm ready to retire, I'll have a nest egg of about a million dollars. Okay, so uh, those are uh, some examples of, uh, of how showing uh, the two versions of it, the annuity formula. One where you know how much you're going to contribute on a regular basis and you're trying to figure out how much you'll end up with. So you're finding your future value. And in the other, we have a goal for our future value and we're trying to figure out how much our uh, regular contributions need to be. And so uh, in this case we found out that that was $500 monthly in order to get a million dollars. And uh, you know if we uh, set aside $4,000 yearly uh, in 15 years we can have $100,000. Alrighty, I uh, hope that uh, helps with your understanding of annuities, and I'll see you next time.